Greetings from Brother Oneness, Reflection on Satya Sai Baba and his teachings as we celebrate the ninth anniversary of Swami's Mahasamadhi on April 24, 2011, when he passed. The main teachings of Baba, which is dear to me, are as follows. Swami is Sarva Dharma Priya. He encourages us to follow our own religion, Buddhism, Jainism, Zoroastrianism, Jewish faith, Jainism faith, all names, all forms. So all religion leads to the same goal of realizing the divinity within each one of us. Next teaching is one-pointed devotion that we have to go deep into our own scriptures, whether it's Quran, whether it's Torah, Bhagavad Gita, various scriptures. Go to the essence of the teaching of your religion and follow it closely, which all leads to universal love. Next stage, next teaching is Swami's emphasis on realizing our own inherent divinity within each one of us. The main aim of Satya Sai organization to encourage to find the divinity within us. That is, we are not this body, but we are pure soul consciousness, and we are part of the universal consciousness. So Swami said, we are not this body. The one who think who we are, we are not this mind. The one other things who we are. And we are the soul that is the one who really are. The soul is active 24 hours and all seven days, 365 days. When we go to sleep, the mind goes to rest, and the soul keeps us going. Based on our mental impressions and past actions, we reap those benefits in the present life. Swami always said, the only chain comes with you when you are born is the bondage of the previous actions. And as we do different actions in this life, if it is not done with pure intention, then we suffer the consequences of those actions or inactions. All in all, Swami gave us threefold path, the path of devotion, path of knowledge, path of uh, service. Whichever dear to you, you still have to lead those activities to realize the full potential within us, which is the aspect of pure love, compassion, concern for all creatures, all beings in the world. During this COVID-19 crisis, once again a reminder that we have to come together, pray for the well-being of everyone, Swami always concludes his satsang with Samastha Loka Sukhino Bhavantyo. May all beings everywhere be happy and prosper. So, Swami may not be with us physically, but his teachings are there for us to follow. Uh, 
darshan on January 1, 2000, I made a resolution that physical proximity to Baba is not necessary to realize our divinity. We have to dwell on his teachings and follow it as best as we can. With that, the benefit is pure joy, feeling of oneness. All those experiences have transferred me to become Brother Oneness. So I conclude by saying, Swami has taught us, especially for me, that the whole universe is one family. As family, we may have different opinion, but we have to look for the common good for all and be a blessing to one and all. May God bless you. Jai Sairam.